Even after I was humiliated in court. Even after I found out about you and Frankie. I still couldn't cheat on you. Oh, this Thursday's episode is The Cliffhanger, passionately awaited by devoted Colby fans. Who will live? Who will answer these questions? Maybe Stephanie Beecham. It's nice to have you here. Delighted to be here. Can you tell us anything about this cliffhanger? Well, I felt so sorry for Sable in that clip, and I think that if things continue to go against her, she'll turn and get cross, and um, when she gets cross, frightful things can happen. She makes nasty little schemes and plans. And then gets very unhappy when people don't like her for it. <laughs> but I think people might be loathing her for what she gets up to at the end of the next episode. You've been playing this role for about a full season. Yes. How, how demanding has it been? Well, it's been increasingly demanding because uh, I've allowed Sable to get more and more neurotic. It's, it's, uh, she's such a terror. I, uh, at first, I was thinking, where shall I take this character? I'm pushing her along. But for the last few episodes, she's been pulling me by the hair. I mean, she's been uh, 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 getting out of hand. It must be fun to play it, but also very demanding to play someone with that much emotion. Yes, but at Constantly. least she's a full person. At least she's nearly a three-dimensional human being. When you're off the set and you're just out around, do people expect you to act at all like that? Or certainly to act like a billionaire's wife? <laughs> well, they're in trouble if they do. <laughs> <laughs> they get this rather mumsy person nattering at them. And I think it surprises them. When you, when you walk into a store, do they yes. give you a funny look if you say, what's the sale price, please? Oh, I'm dreadful. <laughs> I, got, I got caught by five women. I was, I was turning over the, the sale tags on some jumpers, uh, some sweaters, um, and uh, they had a discussion about me. There were five women standing there as if I was on the television. I was getting red with embarrassment and hid. Uh, uh, ran away as fast as I could. Yes, I think it's, it's difficult <laughs> playing a billionaire. You have two daughters, nine yes. and eleven. They're in boarding school in England. How yes. have they adjusted to you being here and coming over here to visit you? They're getting quite used to coming on the, uh, the aeroplane, but uh, uh, my eldest was sick on the way home last time. And I said, oh dear, does this mean you don't like aeroplanes anymore? And she said, no, I think I'm only sick on the way home. Oh, <laughs> they miss you. Yes, and I miss them. How about, how about you? How have you adjusted? You have a, a hearing problem. Has that caused you any problem in your um, acting career? Not really, not in acting, but I know what people are going to say. It's more in real life that it causes problems. You were, you were born, what, deaf yes. in one ear and you yes. have about 70% in the other? That's right. So it just maybe makes you listen that much closer, right? I think it does. That's the only thing that no director has ever said, Stephanie, listen. Um, but I do, I think that I'm thought of as quite snotty in real life because I will just ignore people. I don't hear them. Tap me on the shoulder if I ignore you. Oh, and now that you're playing Sable, they oh, might really think that you're snotty. <laughs> yes. do, pe do you ever get any bad reactions from people when you're walking down the street saying, how could you be that way? No. At first I did. They used to hiss at me in the supermarket. Really? Hmm. <laughs> uh, but more recently, I think that people have understood that I'm doing an acting performance. And people have uh, seemed to be uh, kinder to me. But you'll be very nasty in the cliffhanger, right? It's this Thursday night here on ABC. Yes. Nice to meet you. Thank you.